National MP Sam Uffendale says he was a bully and a thug and is ashamed of the person he was. That's after revelations he was asked to leave prestigious King's College in 1999 after beating up a younger student. Uffendale apologised to the victim last year, months before joining Parliament. And despite being in the dark about the incident until yesterday, leader Christopher Luxon is standing by the Tauranga MP. Isabel Ewing reports. My man, huh? A buoyant Sam Uffendale before his landslide victory in the Tauranga by-election. Just two months later, National's newest MP fronting up as its newest liability. I look back and I don't really like that person because I did stuff that, um, that I'm not proud of at all. Uffendale was 16 when he was involved in beating up a 13-year-old student. We ran into the third former's dorm, um, raided them with, with three other students and... Um, I, I punched a student in there uh, numerous times in the arm and the body. Admitting it wasn't the only time. I might have tackled a few people or, or punched a few people. I was effectively a, a, a bully. But saying the incident which got him kicked out of Auckland's King's College was the worst. He said sorry to his victim last year, more than 20 years after the attack, insisting it wasn't politically motivated. I wanted to, to reach out and, and apologise, and it was a genuine apology. And that's been accepted by his leader. When you think about this place of Parliament and 120 MPs in it, I think it wouldn't be very full if we all had perfect pass. Uffendale told National's pre-selection process about the incident, which his leader said prompted deep background checks. And the assessment was, hey, listen, no, Sam is a changed individual from the 16-year-old we saw 22 years ago. And so, and he is a good candidate and he's a high-integrity person. But the MP who campaigned on a platform of law and order failed to bring it up on the campaign trail. Even when asked what he regrets most and when his act opponent admitted drink driving as a teen. I know it was hard for Cameron Luxton to say that he had committed a drink driving offence but he did it out of integrity for the voters. Tauranga voters a mixed bag. I don't know how you can hold your job uh, under these circumstances. It's no big deal. We've all got a few ghosts in our closet haven't we? <laughs> Uffendale promising voters he is. A 38 year old person who's worked hard and you know, tries to live his life responsibly and that's a big difference to a 16-year-old who, who was a bit of a thug. A lesson for a rookie MP hoping for a second chance. OK, Isabel, so Christopher Luxon only found out about this yesterday, so he'll be making sure that this doesn't happen again? Well, Mike, you can bet Christopher Luxon would have been fuming about this. A distraction totally derailing the launch of the party's new welfare policy and a good poll result last night. So instead of getting another day of media out of that, Luxon has been in damage control and surely asking why former National President Peter Goodfellow and uh, Rotorua MP Todd McClay, who were on that selection panel, failed to tell him about this and also failed to advise the politically naive up in Delta front foot this issue and Instead of just hoping that it would go away, despite both of them seeing those uh, scandals that have befallen national MPs over the last couple of the, uh, last couple of years, and seeing the damage that it did to the party, so Luxon today reassuring voters that there will be significant and thorough background checks on all candidates, even sitting MPs who are seeking re-election, because the last thing the National Party needs is any more skeletons falling out of closets. That's absolutely right. Isabel Ewing live at Parliament. Thanks so much.